Okay, I'm just drinking a beer. Oh, Haras, Irish pale ale. Fucking awesome beer. Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is whiteforever.com. Yeah, by the way, every YouTuber uh, always says the same thing. You know, my name is this for that. And yet there is nobody else around. So I should probably get somebody else to record the video for me. Just so that I don't look like a complete idiot. Anyway, this will be not so quick tutorial on how to start mining. I got a couple of questions. Well, actually a lot of questions, I suppose. On how to start mining, this is uh, complex, this is uh, what not. So, uh, first of all, uh, there is this batch uh, file in here, which I made especially for Claymore's Dual Miner. I will be explaining it how to use it, and um, how to start mining, obviously. Okay, so first of all, what do we need? Okay, in order to make money, you need to have a wallet. So, uh, let me open this document, and... Uh, Let's uh, see what do we need to do. So step one, get wallet. Okay, so there are a couple of wallets online. Now I will be showing the one I use. Well, I use two wallets actually. I use Ledger Hard Wallet and I use Jax. So I will be downloading this and this is the web page you wanna go to download your wallet. So let's open the browser. Okay, so I opened the web page and uh, this is the uh, website, so jax.io. So what you need to do is click on get uh, jax free. Now there are a couple of versions and uh, you can basically use any one of these. Uh, I will be using uh, the uh, version for Windows desktop. Obviously you can get an as a Chrome extension. I like this one. So I will be downloading this zip file, I have 64-bit windows, so you need to choose which ones you have. So this is the uh, save, and I will be opening it with my 7-zip archive. And basically all you need to do is uh, drag and drop to your desktop, so that is what I will be doing. Okay, now once this is extracted, you, what you need to do is to... Um, well, obviously start the program, so let's do that. So, open the folder and uh, double click on JAX. And basically this is the uh, program. So, features, what not, we accept. And we will be creating a new wallet. Obviously you can restore wallet if you have one, but we will be creating a new one. Okay, so uh, let's shoot custom. Okay, these are the wallets that you want to activate, so we will be having, let's say, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And we want to display everything in Euros and US Dollars. Because we don't care about other currencies. Obviously, you can choose the ones you prefer. Would you like to back up wallet now? Yes, I understand. And continue. Now, these are the words. Now, obviously... Uh, I won't be using this wallet, so this is just for the test. You need to uh, write these words somewhere uh, down, because if you lose these words, you will lose your wallet. These are uh, random words, which our wallet is consisted out of. I will be copying and pasting this thing. I've uh, already uh, written down in my... Uh, Notepad. Uh, now the next thing you need to do is uh, you should uh, probably uh, enable the pin. Uh, in my case, it will be one, two, three, four, if it allows. And the pin is uh, used f in order for somebody to make a transaction uh, to send money. Okay. So uh, this is your Bitcoin address and this is your Ethereum address. Okay, I will be copying this by clicking here, and I will be pasting this thing in here. So, uh, paste, this is Ethereum address, and uh, my uh, Bitcoin address, which will be in here. Now, I actually do not need this Bitcoin, because, sorry, I will be mining only, but, uh, okay, let's say, so, for example, if you want to give somebody your Bitcoin address uh, for him to send you money, obviously we will be giving these addresses and we will be 
entering these addresses into my mining script. I will be showing you this thing later on. So we have created a wallet. Uh, and I will be quitting Jax. Now, let me show you the... Uh, okay, uh, Ethereum, okay. Now uh, I will be showing you my batch file. My batch file is basically rather simple. Now let me edit it and let me show you. So uh, you don't need to anything. Uh, you don't need to edit anything above this, and uh, you only need to edit uh, below this. So this this is the basically all, all the things you need to do to edit. So okay. For example, if you want to mine only Ethereum, what you need to type here is E. If you want to type, for example, Ethereum plus Decreed, you should type in here ED. So ES and EP, obviously Sia Coin and Pascal. At this moment. Uh, Claimers dual miner only supports these um, currencies. Okay, the next thing which you need to have is uh, miner's name. Uh, now every miner, for example, every rig should have another name, so we should call this miner one. Okay, the next thing uh, which you need to do is enter your email address. Now this email address will be um, used, uh, for example, if mining fails, you will receive a notification. So. This address should be probably something that you have on your mobile phone, for example, so that you can connect your miner via, I don't know, let's say TeamViewer and uh, restart the machine. Sometimes uh, miners hang and, well, that is just what happens. Okay. Now, let me copy and paste this Ethereum address because we will be needing this one. Okay, now these are pools and ports. Uh, now, obviously, um, you might want to use something other than, let's say, CC miner, Ethermine, uh, Nano pool. Now I use this one because they're okay. So, in my opinion, these are good settings. But again, you can choose whatever you want to. So I will be pasting my Ethereum address in here, which is this one. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is open these addresses. Now I will be showing you how to do that. Um, now I have my addresses on Polonix, which is uh, an exchange. Now obviously, you can open them somewhere else, but this is beside the point. And this is some kind of checks that this file uh, creates, and these are uh, lines that uh, uh, will be started uh, uh, once you start this batch again. So, as uh, we have in here, it says uh, press Ctrl S to save. And now, when you close it and when you uh, double click on this thing again, it will start mining. Now, obviously, my one won't start mining because I don't have anything besides this uh, batch file. In here, so I will be copying this batch file into Claymore's uh, dual miner folder. So uh, let me do now. Since I'm, uh, to be honest, I did not actually check everything to see whether this thing is working. But let's see, it is Ethereum. So this should actually start mining. Let's see. Okay, one more time. Um, now when you start, and there you have it. It actually started mining. Now. Uh, the reason why the notepad was started once more because I made actually a check in here. Now let's see whether this thing will start mining or not. Okay, so it is obviously working and it is in a single mining mode. Uh, now single mining, I mean it's mining Ethereum. So and at this moment I am mining uh, Ethereum. Let me press S just to see the status. So yeah, 28 mega hashes. Okay, this is obviously working. Now every time you start uh, this uh, batch file, uh, it will it, it won't open Notepad again. But if you uh, delete file which was called called done, sorry, done MTS, and you delete it and you press go again, you can again change settings. Obviously, you can change settings by uh, right clicking on the uh, uh, batch file and uh, click edit so yeah that's not uh, that's not uh, I just made this thing to make it easier for you okay now the next thing which you need to do if you're using uh, sorry if you're using other uh, wallets what you need to do is uh, will open another wallet so okay let's uh, let's go to the uh, Pascal and the next thing what we need to do is actually to uh, open uh, uh, let's say a Pascal wallet and uh, Again, I have it on my Polonix, so I will be opening browser one more time and opening Polonix just so that I can open another wallet. So let's do that. Okay, now what you need to do is to go to polonix.com and create another account.
Once you have opened Poloniex, you will get this page and what you need to do is here enter the data, your first time, your last time, your country, phone number is optional, email and password, agree to terms and click create account. Now I won't, uh, I won't be creating another account because I already have an account so I will be signing in and uh, after I sign in let me show you the, uh, uh, what you need to do to get your wallets obviously. Okay so now when you have entered your uh, email address and password and obviously you have registered, you have these uh, balances and you have deposit and withdrawals so I will be clicking here and uh, you can actually place all of the uh, you can copy paste all of the uh, wallets you have in here because you have well shitload of wallets in here as you can see um, on this account now I have some money in this account so obviously I'll just wait uh, yeah there's actually a lot of money now obviously we need uh, just a second um, so what we need is Pascal and okay pass and here you have a deposit and uh, you have this deposit address now uh, this address is actually the address of Polonix so what you need to do is copy this address and for Pascal paste it then type dot then this address okay so copy and uh, paste now this is your Pascal so next thing what we need to find is Sia okay this one is temporarily disabled so uh yeah i cannot show you this one okay let's show you the create that's uh, the creed and again deposit and this is your decreed address okay by the way if you want to pay some money these two addresses definitely go for it and basically this is uh, the same thing you you can do with sia coin obviously okay so what i will be doing is uh copying this address and I will be uh, choosing ED which is Ethereum plus the creed dual mining so I will be saving this and I will be running this batch one more time okay so let me open the acclaimers dual miner and I will be clicking go so as I have chose ED this should mine now Ethereum plus the creed and let me edit this thing one more time and uh, since my decreed pool is ccminer.org, I will be going there. Uh, just so, like, okay, this thing will uh, start. Sometimes it uh, socket closes. Okay, now I'm authorized and I'm mining both of the uh, currencies. So I will be opening browser one more time and I will be going to this web address which is ccminer.org ok let's go there ok so next thing what you need to do is click on wallet and now I will be uh, so ccminer is decreed and I will be copying and pasting this address in here and submit and ok these are my decrees this is the balance and you can actually have all of the uh, settings uh, shown in here so your hash rate and everything you need to do and basically it's the same procedure for uh, every other uh, currency that you are mining unfortunately i couldn't uh, show you sia wallet because it's temporarily disabled sometimes it happens and uh, once uh, that uh, your wallet is disabled basically you're not mining that mining is lost so you should probably monitor everything in case it gets disabled now uh, for example, this Ethereum, I never got it disabled on uh, uh, JAX, so it is pretty stable, I suppose. Well, there you have it. Um, yeah, wait one more time. Uh, uh, one more thing. Uh, for example, okay, I am currently mining, as you can see, uh, and I will be going to uh, the uh, Ethereum uh, page. So I'll be starting browser one more time. So, uh, again, this is new address, so... Uh, just a second, ethermine.org. Okay, again, I will be pasting this address and click on check status. Okay, accept. And here we have dashboard and whatnot. You 
can see your hash rate, you can see your workers, and you can uh, uh, edit. Uh, just a set. You can click on settings, and in here you can enter your email address. You can enter your threshold, uh, and uh, to validate your account, you need to enter the IP, which is your current IP, which is your public IP, and. Uh, to find out uh, what's your public IP, you should uh, just type what is my IP, what's my IP address, and you will get your address. Now, obviously, I won't be showing you mine, but basically, this is the procedure for almost every uh, pool there is. So, uh, again, there you have it, and I hope you learned something. Uh, again, this is a lot to swallow, but it's not uh, it's not that complicated. Now, uh, I will be. Uh, pasting the script down below with the latest uh, which is I believe 9.5 uh, Claymore Miner or something like that I'm not quite sure anyway what's the, the active version and uh, if you want to download the Claymore's Dual Miner you should always check for the new version and you should google Claymore Dual Miner and you will get results this is Bitcoin Talk and uh, click uh, sorry yeah it is 9.5 so you should click here and uh, there are the links, this is Mega and you can download it from Mega and basically that is pretty much it. Um, again, um, and if you have any questions, always uh, don't hesitate to ask. I always try to answer as much questions as possible. Um, I don't know, I kind of hate YouTube channels that uh, don't answer to the viewers' questions. So uh, there you have it and I uh, hope you learned something today. So again, this is a long video but yeah, I couldn't make it shorter, so uh, have a good day, and uh, I'm actually off to, well, drink another beer. Fuck yeah.